So David, uh, as we, we all know that stories are very important for human beings. We're very curious. That's how we, got, we sometimes get uh, excited or get hooked to a movie or to a TV series because they're telling us a story and very, in a good way. So as a brand strategist or a storyteller yourself, how can those techniques job seekers can use during their interviews? Because they will be asked about, tell me about the time you did this or tell me about the time, how you behaved in a team environment or other. Things. So what can you tell them to people to get that storytelling techniques get more excited? Hmm. This is an interesting question. Uh, from a job seeker's perspective, you know, I haven't, I haven't thought, uh, I, I haven't, I haven't, because I'm always seeking job opportunities, right? I, I'm, I'm always out there and having conversations. And part of the thing that I'm doing as, uh, as part of my strategy, if you will, is, uh, is to tell story. So for me, I, I tell story as it relates to uh, the sort of things that I want people to be more aware of or, or see uh, what maybe they hadn't considered before inside of uh, the, 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 the game that is expanding self and stepping into more of a leadership role and, and, uh, and empowering others, right, to, uh, to take, uh, as, uh, to do something that they've never done before. Uh, and for me, it's related through stories about my own journeys uh, through my life so far, uh, but also in the experiences of others. Now, it allows me to, to bridge a, uh, a, a, a gap, a barrier uh, that would normally be really hard to do because we're really busy. And uh, unless it's worthwhile, I probably don't have the attention or, or the, the vested interest to, to do it. But if I were to, as a job seeker, have a few stories in my, in my repertoire, you know, my, uh, my tool belt that, um, that really dials in who I am and, and what I've done in, uh, in certain circumstances, but because it's been, the time has been spent to craft it. So it's not a, Oh, I don't know what to ask for this question. Like we're ready for that question and we're ready in such a way that uh, I, I perform poetry. So uh, all of my storytelling, most of my storytelling is uh, in a poetic expression. Well, what would it look like if your stories were written out uh, that, that you actually did that work and, and you read them on a regular basis so that you knew them intimately, that climax, that, uh, that challenge, you know, the, the real uh, dialing in of the hero's journey, as it were, for, for that particular situation, so that you can share it in a, in a really engaging way when somebody asks you that question. And it's no longer a hesitation. It's now, a, I get to tell this story. Oh, I love telling this story. And you set the scene and, uh, and, and you do what good storytellers do and, and you paint the picture for someone in their mind and it's vivid, right? What does that look like? What language do you use to really reinforce the struggle and the victory and, um, and the outcome that happened and who was there and how do you describe them? Like make it, make it, um, like it, they, like they were there. And, uh, and what would that look like as a story to tell for, for a prospective employer be like, man, that, that was amazing. And, and that they actually get the connection to their question, right? It's not just a really great story. There's there's a moral to the story. And I believe, mean, as previously we mentioned, if you identify your why or if you know yourself very well, you can tell your story in a passionate way, in a very detailed way. That's why sometimes you know practicing before you know or knowing yourself before going to an interview is the best uh, advice that I can. Hands have. down, hands down. If you don't know yourself, how do you sell yourself? Yeah. You, you can't sell yourself. It it comes across contrived and forced and inauthentic yes. because it is. Because it, it is kind of you're selling yourself in an employee, you know, you're, this is my values, this is what I can bring to the table, this is what I can contribute. And again, if you know yourself, that will be very authentic and not just lying just to hear, just you don't want the employers to hear what they want them to hear. Well, and, and just think from the employer's perspective, they hear 
what everybody thinks they want to hear from everyone. Yeah. So do you think you actually rise out from, from the pack by, by saying what everybody else says? I agree. And again, thank you for those great tips, uh, David. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of storytelling or how job seekers should present themselves during interviews, please leave it in the comment section. I can share the video and tune in next time for my final question with David.